What's good everybody, it's your boy Shaggy and once again I'm playing a video game that I've recently purchased at GameStop and it's called WWE 2K16 it recently came out on October 27, 2015 I got it that very week um, I don't know what y'all I already beat showcase mode which is the main way you can unlock wrestlers you do special objectives I've already beasted on all of that um, got 100% of this relive Stone Cold's history if you're a fan just for you basically everybody that you fight you win their character whenever you fight them you unlock like all kinds of stuff it is seriously the biggest roster of any WWE game that I have ever seen. By the way, I don't own any copyrights to that or anything. I'm just showing off the game because I love their game. And um, let's see, what should I play? Um, I'm going to play a real quick one just to show it off. Uh, let's go with... Uh, no holes barred as for the heck of it um, they have incredible mouse stars I mean look at all that and there ain't no downloaded ones or nothing in here these are all just then each person has different versions like ultimate war look at all these versions and this is the first one I've ever seen with stone cold long hair <laughs> You got long hair going on with him. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me play Stone Cold because he, he, you gotta get used to him if you're gonna play this game. I guess they do because it's 2016 or something. Let me just get this all done. Okay, um, this is a popular guy from the past to the present. You know what? I'm gonna try a different. I'm gonna try a different start. Because I've already played enough of Stone Cold. Um, here we go, Paul White. Back when he was all long hair, just came from being giant in WCW. And this one, he could be fighting. Uh, why not? Vader. That'd be a pretty interesting match now. Nah, I don't know. Uh, Tyler Breeze. No one really likes him. I guess no one would mind seeing him get beat up, really. This guy takes more selfies than most women on, well, at least his character does. This game's pretty detailed. I mean, you, you get all kinds of arenas you can unlock, vintage arenas. Pretty much the same thing with entrances. Very realistic, like always. Xbox One graphics, so definitely a step up from Xbox 360. This is the first game I've gotten for Xbox One. I got 2K15 for 360. Okay, fast forward through all this. Nice way of helping promote my video, Michael Cole. He just happened to say that shows everybody what WWE is all about. At least WWE 2K16. So that sums it up for you. Typical regular game. Similar controls. A few things that you gotta get used to in the beginning, but you play Stone Cold 2K Showcase. 
that'll get you right into the game. In my career, you gotta start out from the bottom and work your way up. Almost old school style. You know why you wanna hit me? Ah, yeah, there you go. This dude thought he could pull that over. I mean, come on, really? Look, you're Tyler Breeze and I'm Paul White, like, in his prime, pretty much. I should have got someone more challenging, but I wanted to make this relatively fast. This is definitely my favorite WWE game yet. It has the most all in it. It has the content of what I've seen in three or four games combined. Once again, reverse it. You have to learn that one too a lot. Reverse. That basically becomes your best friend. Ah, this guy. See, you always gotta reverse it. And I have it on normal mode, just for the record. This is not on hard or difficulty. It is harder than what I'm used to on a wrestling game. Usually it's just the same repetitive moves and you got them. I'm surprised he's not knocked out or something by right now. I'm just going to have to fast forward through a lot of this video just to get through the match. I'm trying to get towards some achievements because as you can see clearly I have plenty left to get. I have only owned this game for about a week or so like I said and these are the ones I've unlocked. Take a real look. Real quick look. So I've gotten quite a few. I have a superstar completely covered from a critical injury. Uh, you can win by dirty pin. That's an easy achievement. I didn't even know that one. That's just so much longer than I thought it would be. I just need to put this guy out of his poor misery. Maybe that'll do it. I mean, I hope I don't have to do another finisher. If I do, then I do. Oh, that was a three right there. I think the game just wants to extend my video. I might have to cut out more scenes just so this isn't ridiculous. This is how you do submission holds, by the way. You can let go by pushing LB on this console, like I always say. Because I don't want anybody getting confused, being like, uh, what's an LB? If they're playing PS4 or something. Okay, this should definitely do it. If, if that signature did not put him down, then I don't know what will. His health is all the way shot. Are you serious? Like I said, a great game, but not the easiest of all the WWE games. I guess one more charge finisher, and if this doesn't work, then I might just throw the camera at the ground. That might be how the video ends. Okay. Might be over. Don't say that. Okay, yeah, there we go. Replace exit. And it tells you how much you gotta unlock and all that achievements.
which I've done a decent amount for a couple of days. Basically, you just get a lot of options in this game. I'm gonna go back to my career mode. You'll notice the guy kind of looks just like me, to put it simply. Who doesn't make a character that looks a little bit like at least what they want to look like in their head? Somehow I got made into a heel. See these things tell you how to unlock things too. It's pretty cool. You can change around pretty much everything about your character at any point. You work up your attributes through matches. The more you of a good match it is the more you work up and of course if you win it's a lot more than if you lose but you get a little something either way depending on the match quality and then you get rivals you get allies I guess I get to choose an I don't want any I want to no uh, I get to fight Stardust next the character attributes strength there, I got enough for strength right there, and arms or ability. That was from previous matches. That took me about three matches to work up, all gone just like that. So I guess I'll conclude my video with this and that have to go through me doing the whole match. I'm just going to play that afterwards. Yep, definitely looks a little bit like me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of my newest and probably my favorite current Xbox One game. WWE 2K16. I highly recommend it if you're a wrestling fan. WWE you guys have done an awesome job this time around, much better than 2K15, much better roster. And believe it or not, you guys can still purchase downloadable content that will include more superstars and more other stuff. So, they really did this time. Probably because it's on another system, but and you know, you have all this other like space it takes up. Oh yeah, there's my entrance. Of course, that's the DX, my favorite group of all time. But, the, I mean, if they use all this extra space up compared to Xbox 360 games, <laughs> they need to have more content. But yeah, um, I guess I'll end the video with that. Thanks for watching.